guys, I'm the C-H-A-L-L, your Longest Rovers Fan Channel, and welcome to this video. Now, today is the first episode of our DRFC Transfer Analysis. So, this is a series where we look in depth at the brand new signings that we make year in, year out. So, this is a yearly series. Um, so, you know, every time we sign a new player this season, then we'll do it, you know, as a 2020-2021 transfer analysis. And then it'll go into the following season, so we'll have ones for 2021, 2022 season, and so forth. Now, to this date, we've only made one signing, and that's the sign we're going to discuss today. There are others planned for the players that have been linked to our club. Now, of course, we know about the three low knees. For those of you who haven't seen it, there's a report on the free press that says that Doncaster have done all they can do from our side of things uh, on the three loan deals, including a goalkeeper. Uh, and we're just waiting on the parent clubs to give the final go-ahead. So uh, hopefully they'll all be done before this weekend. And uh, we'll be del delivering new transfer analysis videos on those three signings. But today's video focuses on a guy that's already integrated with the squad. Completely integrated with the squad. And uh, it's our only signing so far to date. And that is of course the one year contract of our now permanent uh, signing. Jason Lakilo, a former Crystal Palace winger. Used to be a youth at Anderlecht. Of course he's born in Brussels, Belgium. Uh, great lad. Um, got to speak to him a bit on Insta. Great lad. You know, can't wait to see him perform more in the team. He's a very exciting prospect. And uh, yeah, very exciting uh, from that end there. So we're going to use a free free press report to get used to and get to know this uh, player. Uh, for those of you who need more info on this guy, because it's very exciting, very exciting prospect. And uh, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And let's get into finding out a little bit more about Jason Lakilo. So Lakilo was born on September seventeenth, nineteen ninety-eight, in Brussels, Belgium. Now this guy is tricky, confident, and entertaining. Those are the three words I would use to describe Lakilo, and the free press describes Lakilo. Lakilo likes to take on opposition defenders and will throw in a few flashy tricks along the way. A smallish winger, he typically plays on the right, but his left footer, so likes to cut inside and go for goal. So it all started with a trial. So Lakilo came through the Anderlecht Academy before taking part in a trial with Crystal Palace in the summer of 2015. Arsenal were also said to be in churning interest, but Palace snapped him up on his first professional contract. Strong pre-season performances for the Palace under-23s in the summer of 2017 convinced then-boss Frank de Boer to take Lakilo onto the club's training camp in France. He then started in a front three consisting of Wilfred Zaha and Christian Benteke in a friendly against FC Metz from France. Lakilo was handed his senior debut in August 2017 in a League Cup tie with Ipswich Town playing the full 90 minutes, which proved to be his only senior appearance for Crystal Palace. Lakilo was loaned to French tier side Lorient during the 18-19 season as he looked for senior opportunities. He admitted at the time that he felt a chance of representing Palace in the Premier League was slim until he gained senior experience. He made five appearances during his stay, and he represented DR Congo's under-20s back in 2015. Lakila was required to bide his time after joining Rovers on loan in January, a combination with him needing to get up to speed with Rovers, style of play and his own match fitness, plus the presence of five other loanees in the squad, meant it was well before he had handed his debut. That came off in the bench in a win over Wickham Wanderers, who are now promoted to the Championship, in March, when he put in a dangerous ball which was turned home by the chairboys Jason McCarthy. The COVID-19 pandemic put pay to his hopes of adding further appearances before the end of the season. Rebels boss Darren Moore said, Every player we try to bring in going forward has to work for the football club, and Jason has been brought here because we believe in his talent and ability. We believe it's something we haven't got into the team. I think it's certainly he has the ability when games are tight to unlock the door in terms of his ability and speed. Lakilo himself said, I'm a right winger, but I can play anywhere. I like to pass the ball and get assists. I'm left footer, so I like to cut inside to create a chance to score. And the under-23s boss, Gary McSheffrey, or the then under-23s boss, Gary McSheffrey, before the under-23s, of course, was... Um, cut. Uh, he said, I think on the ball he's a top drawer. I spoke to Richard Shaw, who was under 23's coach at Palace on the day we signed him and the message was, chefs, on the ball you'll love him. He's my type of player in similar positions to where I played. 
So that then is an official free press look into Jason Lakilo. So of course he is a former Crystal Palace uh, right winger with a left foot, his primary left foot. Um, came through the Andalette Academy, had interest from Arsenal uh, where Palace snapped him up on his first professional contract. And um, yeah, you know, this guy already sounds very exciting from those stats, but if you've seen him play, then you'll know how exciting he is. Um, and I cannot wait to see him. He signed a one-year contract with the extension possibilities of another year or two, maybe. Uh, but it is a one-year contract just for, for money reasons, just saving some money uh, and things like that. So I think that Lakila will definitely be a good player this season. I think that he'll be a great player this season. I think that Lakila has shown excellent signs so far this preseason that he is the one to, to beat in terms of our younger talent. Um, Lakila, of course, playing striker, especially in the Bradford game, um, in his in his half with Bradford, and you know, obviously, he scored from that. He cut inside, he got the chance, and um, yeah, he took it very, very well. So, very good signs from Lakila already. Uh, hopefully, Lakila gets a chance to shine against Blackburn Rovers in the EFL Cup on August 29th. I really do want to watch that. Uh, hopefully, they've got those sights working. Um, but Lakila. Definitely want to watch, in my opinion, because I think the Kilo's got that that wi I call it the winger's instinct. The winger's instinct, in my opinion, is usually the speed, the pace, and the knack to sometimes not just go on the wings, you know, straight down the line and cross, or cut it back and cross, but sometimes he'll cut inside and score himself. And that's what I like in a winger. I like that he's a winger that doesn't just provide; he will score himself. So, I think that's one of the big traits with Lakilo. Another big trait is his pace. You know, John Taylor and Jason Lakilo looks likely to be the starting wingers, unless this winger uh, from the mid-twenties with EFL experience is cut from the trialists that we're taking forward into the club. Uh, of course, we've seen the reports over the last couple of days that two trialists uh, have been let go um, out of the four. Of course, now five with the goalkeeper with non-league experience. Um... So if he's not coming in, it looks like the Taylor and the Kilo are going to be our starting wingers or our starting players in the wing positions. So um, Taylor's got some really good pace on him. The Kilo's got some brilliant pace on him. I think that um, both of them are going to be really pacey wingers. We've got some good pace in our team now. And uh, yeah, I, I think this is going to be a decent season for the Kilo. I've got some really good um, feelings about the Kilo coming into this season. I think that... Uh, Lakilo's got the the pace and the power to deal with the the physical teams. I hope that he does play against Blackburn in the EFL Cup. Um, I know Moore has his doubts about the fixture being on August 29th, and you know it's too soon. And, and to be fair, I do agree. But you know, if they move it to September 5th, Blackburn, you know, they have a couple of players missing on international weekend, so obviously it won't be fair on them. Apparently, so uh, yeah, <laughs> make your own mind up about that. But. Um, I think if it is going to be August 29th, hopefully Lakilo does play. Moore did say uh, going into the Blackburn game that he wasn't going to play anyone at any risk of injury. Not even, you know, 95% uh, ready. You know, he wants players that are 100% ready for the fixture and then leave the rest for uh, probably the first league game of the season, probably. Um, but obviously you've got the pre-season games as well because we penciled in the, the two championship fixtures. And apparently, according to Wiki, we've got a non-league game. So... Um, um, I mean, the, I mean, what we heard was two championship teams, one of them twice. I mean, if there is going to be a non-league game instead, then fair enough. But I don't trust Wikipedia beyond any shadow of a doubt. So I'm going to stick with the two championship teams, one of them twice. Uh, I don't think we're going to do a non-league game. I think if it is going to be a non-league game, it would be something like a Rosington or something like that. Somewhere very, very local like last year with Rosington, Maine. So... Um, we'll see what happens with that, but obviously Lakila will probably be one of the one of the names for the, the for the Blackburn game on August 29th. Um, so it will be interesting to see how he performs against Blackburn if he is in the squad. But uh, hopefully he doesn't get a knock in training or something leading up to that game because obviously we need very very fit players for the Blackburn game. So you know. It's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be a watch this season to see how he does in his first full season at Rovers uh, and decide whether we extend his contract or not. Um, but overall, I am really excited about this guy. Really excited. So there we go. So that is the first transfer analysis of the season. Looking into our first and currently only signing of the season so far, Jason Lakilo from Crystal Palace on a one-year contract after his release from Palace. 
And uh, yeah, we've got a decent player on our hands. So hopefully there will be more transfer analysis videos to come this season uh, from the three low knees. Uh, more transfers. Obviously, Ed Williams from Kidderminster. Hopefully we'll release one from him. And uh, for now, guys, my name is the CHALL. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, goodbye. Oh,